Hey there, welcome back to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. It's oh. getting away! <laughs> it's our ship, it's, it's, it's gone. I'm assuming it's autopilot and that we haven't been jacked. Alright, I've done something special this episode. Are those shutter shades? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> I fucking texture hacked this game, putting out Junior's fucking wearing shutter shades. This is this is the Kanye West special edition. We're all douchebags, and welcome back. <laughs> oh goodness sake! This is fucking amazing. Does every tribal now have a goatee, or is that <sighs> the idea? Is that now the idea for the next episode? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna turn into a request thing. All right, now now we get some silliness out of the way. Uh, better talk about the game. This is the plasma shotgun. This is a weapon I didn't use very much when I was a kid, and but I've only just learnt now how how glorious it is. I assume it's a flak cannon. Hmm. There's a pad there, and that tormented me as a kid because I never knew I could never figure out what it was. I never got to the point where I could use it. But let's get into the actual game. All right, this is this is the SS Anubis. I'm not really sure why they call it an. E the SS Anubis because SS kind of stands for steamship. And we're done with that level. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> nah, there's another area. That doesn't Look. that doesn't explain the speed run back there. <laughs> uh, so we're actually going to go off the beaten path and get some secrets and blow up some dudes with the plasma shotgun. This is <laughs> Wait. Is that actually consuming ammo, blowing all these dudes up? Or it what? is, but I'm running into the guy's guns when I, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, it charges? It charges, so you can either do a weak shot, and it doesn't do very much damage, or you can charge that it up That was and... a lucky shot. <laughs> Holy shit. I told you the auto aim in this game was generous. You might be noticing that I'm missing some of the snipers and some of the enemies up here. That's because I can. This is one of the few areas in the game that doesn't have life force doors, and fuck it, honestly. If you can not grind through all the enemies, you may as well not. Unless you were really hungry for ammo. <laughs> this all, this area is also a bit of a maze, so there's a, you'll see there's a lot of different paths I don't take. They only have, like, health and ammo. Oh my god! <laughs> These are the shurikens. They're, um, well, they decapitate, and they home on, and you can recollect them. So they're pretty cool in general, but they have a big problem. That is, well, the homing doesn't always really work very well, and, like, I'm getting a few good shots, but it's very easy to miss, and sometimes I kind of want not to use them extensively. I just changed back to the good old machine gun. I could have swore the shuriken's exploded, or I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> I, I, no, I can't even think of what you're thinking of. I don't even know it's in, if it's in this game or like Turok or something, but whatever. <laughs> uh, we'll be coming back to that door later, but uh, there's more level this way. Also, I'm getting fantastic Mega Buster vibes from the Plasma Shotgun. <laughs> uh, well, I've, I've never played Mega Man, so... Uh, oh, I'm... yeah! This is me cancelling the Charge Beam shot, and... Charge Beam Plasma Shotgun. <laughs> uh, See, so you're kind of saying it like someone who's played Mega Man X. <laughs> you almost nuked that tribal, you're not even trying anymore. <laughs> hey, hey, if I didn't... That, that that one, that little drone there, he kills the tribal, so you gotta be quick about it. Oh, it's a hostage situation. Mm. So, this is a room with one enemy and five tribals, so we're gonna be doing that for a while. One so, of the... mm. I, I have to ask, if a tribal gets killed, does it stay permanent, or do you have to come back and get it again? It stays permanent. Well, no, 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 you, you can come back and get it again, you have to leave the area. Mm. So... Yeah, that's how that goes. Having them permanent would be kind of frightening, honestly, because, you know, in those cases with the ninja... I think they're called ninja drones or something. I don't, I don't have a clue. I couldn't find a wiki for this game. It's too obscure. <laughs> but, yeah, the ninja drones will kill... If the ninja drones killed them off and you couldn't get them ever again, that would be kind of dis distressing. That guy was... 
they ca they kind of want to hide around. They don't really understand. Well, I guess it's Rareware kind of dicking you over. He was totally gonna jump for it. <laughs> he was crying and like, everything. If, if, the, if this game wasn't developed by Rare and published by Nintendo, it would totally be you have to quickly run and get him, otherwise he will make the jump for it. Hey, you, have you played Conker's Bad Fur Day? Have you heard of no, the original ending? The original ending, Con Conker shoots himself with a fucking shotgun, but they took it out because it's a Nintendo game. Oh. Oh. So is it in Live and Reloaded? I, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Live and Reloaded was like more censored. I don't know what, how that could be. Microsoft kind of shat the bed. <laughs> Wait, moment. why are we... I th oh yeah, we beat that little area, but this is... Uh, we're not actually going on to the proper next level. This is actually a secret side level-y thing -o. We're gonna get some cool shit here. So, it's a warp zone. No, no. This is just a side level. It doesn't actually skip anything. We still have to go back. But for the meantime, we're at this place. Got a pretty sweet sunset. Do we have to walk all the way up that ramp? Yeah. Oh, okay. At least it's wheelchair accessible. <laughs> that, like, assumedly, I don't know how steep that ramp gets. I didn't see the start of it, to be honest. Well, as long as it's less than four degrees, then... Then is it's... That, is that the standard? That's the standard. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't know why I know. Well, when you make it on the sale of the century and they ask you that one question, well, there you go. Wait, no, they don't do sale of the century anymore. What am I talking about? I don't know. Do they do temptation anymore? No. No. Oh. All they've got is deal or no deal and millionaire hot seat and. <laughs> millionaire hot seat is garbage. And then a whole bunch of weight loss shows and a whole bunch of food cooking shows, which I guess you could call weight gain shows, but. <laughs> oh. Anyway, life force door. Oh, here are all the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Just spawn caravan. You're getting back, man. I'm reporting you to Cave Mule. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, if someone actually did try and report someone to like VAC for spawn camping to get them banned, I would just lose all faith in humanity. All right, so here's a tribal down here. So we're gonna, you know do what we've been doing all the time and collect the tribals and... Can we get back? Um... Uh-oh. You're, you're, you're fucked. Jump. No... Uh-oh. Shit. You weren't supposed to get this tribal, were you? N no. Um... Uh... Well, it looks like we're gonna have to jump for it. Plummet from the summit! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I sh this is a good time to explain the, uh... Um, deaths in this game. You get three, con you get two continues, and if you die, it doesn't reset any of your progress in the room. You just respawn in the same room, so it's it's pretty simple. But if you lose all your continues, you'll have to do everything again. Everything resets. I so was even up. if you lose a continue, the tribals do not return to their hiding locations. Uh, you keep your tribals. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So okay. you're completely screwed. Mm. These are the homing missiles. This is a pretty awesome weapon for this early in the game. So. What? Yeah, you're not supposed to have those yet. Well, technically I am, because I, you know, went off the beaten path, but usually, yeah, if the game could choose not to give them to me, they, they wouldn't. This is, uh, Mizar's, I don't know, he's like Diamond Geezer or something. He's really cool because he's, uh, he's the, uh, he's the, he's the only way we can, like, refill all our weapons at the same time and make, it makes weapon ammo recovery a lot less painful. Um, it seems a bit far to go. Mm. There was also a trapdoor in this room, but let's try out this uh, homing missiles, but oh, there's no enemies around. What what should we do? Rocket jump. Uh, there's something up there. <laughs> you, you knew this was coming! <laughs> you lied to us all! Actually, no, I don't know if you actually did lie about anything, but it's dead now. You killed it. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll have to come back here someday. There's also a totem on top of the roof of that place, and another one of those pads, so... <laughs> we'll, we, we have to unlock Spider-Man to get those later. Mm. 
there's a few things we're gonna have to come back for in this level, despite it being, you know, well, one outside and one house in room inside. I swear to god, that ship wasn't going to take off at the rate that engine was, like, clunking out. <laughs> <laughs> we're done here, but next time, we're gonna be getting back on track and maybe rendezvousing with Vela. And probably finding out what the fish food does, if anything. Carnage! <laughs> With shutter shades! The best kind of carnage. See you then.